Guys, hi, hello, and welcome back to another Instant Pot recipe video where I hit the record button before using the bathroom, so now I gotta dance around like Gordon Ramsay. You ever notice how he dances like that when he's talking? Today we're going to make a lad, and we're going to do this. Ah! He doesn't talk like that, but... Anyway, guys, hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're making an Instant Pot steamed sweet potato, and we are steaming it for a series of reasons which I will not get into because I have a YouTube correspondent standing by by the name of Alton Brown. Alton? Anything a white potato can do, a sweet potato can do. For instance, you can bake them in the oven, just the way you would any uh, baking potato, just out on the rack. The problem is that even at 350 degrees, this takes a very long time, and the process tends to mute the sweetness of the root. Other options? Well, you could certainly boil them. That's fast. Problem is, is that uh, since sweet potatoes lack the uh, waxy texture of uh, boiling potatoes, and since they are packed with water-loving sugars, they waterlog very easily. It's not good eats. The other option, of course, steaming. Not only is steaming convenient, it is fast, it is easy, it is predictable. And best of all, steam does not wash away either nutrients or flavors, which is a very good thing indeed. Thank you, Alton. And without further ado, let's learn how to make the Instant Pot steamed sweet potato, shall we? And we begin, of course, with our sweet potatoes. Karen, Karen, where are the sweet potatoes? Jeez, you guys are always late. This is why everyone chooses Idaho. Anyway, what we're gonna do here is, oh good, the scrub brush arrived. What we're gonna do here is clean the potatoes properly, which involves removing all of the roots that might be sticking out of the sides and giving them a good scrub down, making sure that the skin is as clean as we can get it. Once your tardy sweet potatoes have received a good cleaning, it's time to cook them. We're going to do so using a cup of water, a steaming basket, and of course, the Instant Pot. Place your steaming basket into the bottom of the Instant Pot and place one cup of cold water in as well. Next, you're going to stack the sweet potatoes inside the Instant Pot and place the cover on, making sure that the release valve is set to sealing. Now your cook time is going to depend on the size of your sweet potatoes. As you can see here, however, you're gonna to wanna to use the steam feature of the Instant Pot and not the pressure feature. Once the cooking is complete, you're going to let the pressure release naturally and then remove the lid and remove your potatoes carefully with a tongue because it's going to be extremely hot to the touch. In order to determine that your sweet potatoes are fully cooked, go ahead and stab them with a fork, which is both satisfying and useful. Once your potatoes have cooled enough to touch them, you're going to cut them open like so. Now, since we steamed the sweet potatoes, we're keeping this recipe healthy by using plain Greek yogurt instead of sour cream and green onions to cut through the creaminess of the potato and yogurt. Go ahead and place a generous spoonful of plain Greek yogurt onto your sweet potato and cover with your green onions. And if you listen very carefully, you can hear the sound of desperation. That's Milton, my cat, who loves plain Greek yogurt. And if you haven't seen the video that I made already about Instant Pot Plain Greek Yogurt, I will put a link in the top right corner for you to check out. And guys, that's gonna do it for today's Instant Pot steamed sweet potato video. Guys, I hope you found this video useful, and as always, I encourage you to add your own spices in order to make this recipe your very own. If there's anything else that you'd like me to do in the Instant Pot in the upcoming weeks, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, there's a link in the description to all the things that I think are gonna make this recipe a little bit easier for you to make at home. As always, keep busy, stay healthy, be happy, and I will see you in the next one.